relatively brief, but there's a few comments that I've, I've absolutely got to make. You can't hardly say Uncle Charlie without saying Annie Lane. <laughs> I was probably 30 before I realized that it was Aunt Elaine and not Aunt Lane. <laughs> but, but anyway, Uncle Charlie, Aunt Elaine, they're always giving. Uh, I'd like all the nieces and nephews of my generation to stand. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. no. Okay. <laughs> and all of us, Listening all of us, well. for our first day of school, they picked us up and they took us to a, a store and we had five outfits that, that they bought and they, uh, and they took us out to eat and we stayed overnight at their house and were treated like royalty. <laughs> And every birthday, you know, we never were forgotten with cards. And it was just, uh, just very, very generous and very, very giving. Even my mom tells about when Annie Lane and Uncle Charlie first got married, how they came, came to uh, Hastings Heights, took her to beautiful downtown Orange. <laughs> <laughs> And then they went to the picture show and she stayed overnight because it was such a long trek back to wall. And that was quite an event for my mom, you know, growing up with kerosene lamps in an outhouse being a ridge runner like she was. Uh, Uncle Charlie always had a he always had a pit in his garage, and if he got paid for the time that he spent working on other people's automobiles as well as he owned, he'd probably be wealthier than Warren Buffett. <laughs> There's nobody that knows the history of Warwick any better than Uncle Charlie. He's documented it, written it down. He just, he's an expert. He knows where every grist mill was and every Civil War hero or veteran lived in town. I would like to mention that he did help us cut corn for quite a few years. He had a special hat that he wore. <laughs> and it was, it was to keep the sun out of his eyes. And whenever we started cutting corn, it was pretty warm, the first of September. Ooh, and he would say, well, you know, this is some of Uncle Charlie's phrases. He'd say, whoa, Georgie. He says, boy, it's hotter than the hammers of hell today. Because <laughs> I was pretty young and I would ride in the truck with him and I'd kind of glean on every word he told me. <laughs> then towards the end of cutting corn, it took us quite a while to cut corn, about about of a month. Wow, he'd look over at me and say, you know, this is a, you know, getting into October, he'd look over and say, whoa, George, and he says, it's cold as a witch's mitt today. <laughs> 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 and my favorite one of all, because Aunt Lane would pack him a lunch because he'd eat on the truck seat while we chopped the corn. I don't know, whenever he got hungry, he'd open up that brown paper bag and pull out what was in the bag. He'd unwrap the sandwich out of the wax paper. He'd start in chewing on it and he'd say, you know what the hell we put in this sandwich, but this is tougher than a boiled owl. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about all I've got for now. Uh, we're scheduled to eat at 12.30, so we're not far off. We do want anybody that has any Uncle Charlie stories. To, yeah, I got a couple. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> step up, but we can't, can't be terribly long. No, no, I've used up your time. <laughs> so I just want to thank him for all the good times at the beach at Moore's Pond. All of you, remember the one there? Yeah, exactly. Every Sunday was a barbecue at Moore's Pond. Yeah. And that went on for years. Yeah. And about the gifts to all the children and everything they've done. I just want to say that I had the first grandchild 
And I got the last one. He's two months old today. <laughs> Santa Claus has visited him already two or three times. I mean Charlie Brown. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie, for everything. We have a bite to eat, and my sister Carol will now say a short grace. I don't need to follow my brother, but here it goes. <laughs> Our Heavenly oh, Father, gosh. thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for the wonderful family and friends that are here to celebrate Uncle Charlie today. And may he continue to have good health and happiness for many years to come. 